Hello, Kim Cho. My name is Sahil Shah and today I'm going to be doing something super special. A uh, little known fact about me, I love eating. Like, love it. Which is why I am so excited because Navratri is coming up. Eat, sleep, dandia, repeat. Like a dandia is like, farak. While sleeping, we do garba. While eating, we'll just grab two spoons, just do fatak, put it in and just eat everything that's on our plate. And the best part about Navratri food, I don't know if you guys know this, but every Navratri dish has a few rules, okay? Rule number one, no garlic or onion. Which means if you're a vampire, this is the best meal you're going to have in your life. Rule number two, make sure every paratha is made with something called singada atta. If you, any other atta is used, you have every right to go into your kitchen and just scream, Atta Baji Satakli! Because atta. And lastly, make sure every dish is cooked with something called senda namak. If you don't know what that is, because you're not a food court also. It's very simple, it's when you're living next to an Italian person and you go to his house and you're like, hey! Send the namaka. I am so excited because today I have been asked to sample some of the best Navratri dishes that there are. And you and I are going on a culinary journey on this episode of Master Chef Navratra. Today we have got the Sabudana Vada and we have the Sabudana Kichri. Let's begin. This is just so nice. Like there are these, these tiny, tiny beads, you know, you can feel them in your mouth. If the sabudana is so good, I can guarantee you the vada is going to be amazing. I've, I've given up on life, guys. In MasterChef Navaratra, these two dishes are exemplary. The taste is just mm, tantalizing. It's an amalgamation of flavors. In short, it's tasty. Eat it, okay? It's the best thing ever. Trust me, you will eat this. The moment you put each pearl in your mouth, your mind is going to explode and you're just going to be Ek pal ka jina, fir to hai sabu dana. Next up we have... <gasps> paneer? Oh, how sweet random hand. Thank you. Today, I have got paneer makhan wala with me, which is the best combination of paneer and gravy that you can find in the world. Please, whatever you do, don't ever come to me and tell me, yeah, I don't like paneer, I like tofu. Because I will slap you, okay? Tofu is nothing. Tofu is paneer's poor stunt double. If paneer is Roger Federer, then tofu is Arbaz Khan, okay? Let's just take a small little scoop with a nice bit of butter. Oh, that's so good. I'm not even kidding. I wish you guys were here to actually try it out. This is genuinely amazing paneer and I can't believe that it's been made without onion or garlic. What are you made out of? Tell me! There is one more dish that I'm going to try out and that is the Singhada Alu Paratha. Uh, you can have the paratha plain or you can have it with dahi. Ideally, I say you should have it with dahi because paratha and dahi are like an inseparable combo. It is so soft, it's delicious. In fact, I feel like my grandmother right now. Like, I don't need my teeth to eat any of this. You should eat these parathas. Uh, even if you're a human, you should eat them. If you're a bear, then you should definitely eat them. Because bears who eat parathas, they are called... Guess what? Bhalu ke parate! Al alu bhalu. Right? If, if parathas are sly, then they would be what? Chalu parate! Because they're sly, right? Guess what? Oh, 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 even better. If you want to give parathas to good Jews, what will you say? Alo, alo parate. <laughs> okay, sir, I'll give you a refund after this shoot, okay? You, let me just eat my paratha. Thank you. So all these dishes were actually brought to me by Fasos. This is part of the special Navratri special menu. Uh, it is so special that you say special before Navratri and after Navratri. That's how special the menu is. The best part about all of this food is that you can order it individually or if you're like, hey, I want more, I want more, you can get a quick thali which combines all three of these dishes and you can get them. Or if you want to take it to the next level, you can call for the Royal Thali. So you get a nice side dish, and you get a nice dessert and you get, literally, you get everything that you need to sustain yourself. In fact, it's like the full Sattvic cuisine because after you eat this, you will be eating this for seven weeks afterwards. Because, you know, Sattvic, Sattvic, Sat, Sat, yeah. You know what, guys, stop watching this. Quickly go to fasos.com or check out the Fasos app. And as I said earlier, eat, sleep, dandia, repeat. My name is Sahil Shah. I'll see you soon. Jai Shri Krishna.